What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover all things stocks and investing. With the recent rise in Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchain have received more than their fair share of interest over the past year. Today we'll be looking at one of the most innovative blockchain platforms in existence, CryptoKitties. CryptoKitties is a blockchain based game that runs on Ethereum. It was created by Canadian-based game studio Axiom Zen and it is the first significant attempt at merging the worlds of blockchain and video games. Users can buy and sell CryptoKitties with Ethereum. Each cat is unique to its owner, validated by the blockchain, and has a unique graphic design. The price of each cat fluctuates just like any other cryptocurrency based on supply and demand, with rare and special cats demanding higher prices on the marketplace. Boring cats like these ones here trade for only a few dollars, but rare cats with fancy art design can trade for thousands. There are two ways CryptoKitties can be created. At launch, the game studio made 50,000 cats which they distributed via auction to the highest bidder. These cats were called Gen Zero cats. Once users own the cats, they can breed any two cats to create a new cat. Each one has its own unique phenotype which determines its unique visual appearance. It also has its own genotype which determines the characteristics of its offspring. Each cat can breed an unlimited number of times but after it breeds there is a cooldown period which becomes longer and longer with each breeding. Because of this, a cat becomes less valuable the more times it has been bred. Each transaction, including the sale or birthing of a new cat, are done via Ethereum and must be verified by Ethereum miners. This incurs a transaction fee paid to the miners. Users can decide between a standard transfer which takes a few minutes or a low cost transfer which takes around 30 minutes. The cost per transaction depends on the volume and mining capacity of Ethereum at any given time. In normal times, a transaction costs about 12 to 13 cents but during times of high volume, the price can shoot up. During the Bitcoin craze in 2017, CryptoKitties reached peak hype and volume soared. This chart shows Ethereum volume skyrocketing more than 10 times as a result of the CryptoKitty volume. At the peak, CryptoKitty transactions made up more than 10% of all Ethereum volume and transaction costs shot through the roof. This incremental volume initially overwhelmed miners and built up a huge backlog of pending transactions. But in the following months, prices normalized as Ethereum miners installed new capacity to take advantage of the high transaction costs. The number of CryptoKitties in circulation increases over time as more and more are bred, similar to how the number of Bitcoin outstanding increases as more and more are mined. There is a cap of 21 million for the total number of Bitcoin that can be created. This cap is what gives Bitcoin its value as people know there is a limit on how much it can be diluted. The number of CryptoKitties is capped by the possible phenotypes. Each cat has a unique visual design and there are only a limited number of designs possible on the platform. In total, there are 4 billion possible combinations of visual designs, so this is the ultimate cap on the number of kitties. 4 billion is obviously a lot larger than the 21 million cap on Bitcoin, so the average price of a cat will likely always be far below the price of a Bitcoin. But prices vary widely based on the design of the cat. For example, this dragon cat is worth a lot more than this generic cat. Before we get into the good stuff, make sure to sign up for Rebull using the link in the description below if you haven't already. You'll get at least $21 worth of stock for free when you deposit $100 or more into your account, and you'll be supporting this channel, so it's a win-win for everyone. In May 2018, Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors NBA team launched a celebrity-branded series of CryptoKitties. The head of partnerships for CryptoKitties, Carly Tedman, announced that there would be three Steph Curry CryptoKitties, of which at least one would be sold to the public. The other two would be owned by Steph for him to decide whether or not to sell them. Steph Curry approached CryptoKitties, according to Katie, to make the branded celebrity series because he quote, really cares about his fans. This partnership allowed CryptoKitties to successfully execute a round of funding which netted the company $12 million from the prestigious Andresen Horowitz and Union Square Ventures funds. However, only a few days later, another crypto company called Starcoin claimed that CryptoKitties parent company, Axiom Zen, stole the idea from them and violated trade secret and confidentiality agreements. They said that they were in discussions with Axiom Zen that February about collaborating on development. While they reportedly signed a non-disclosure agreement, they then proceeded to announce that they had created their own Steph Curry CryptoKitties. However, following these allegations, Axiom Zen suddenly took down their announcement to create the Steph Curry series. 
They said, quote, We have reason to believe that Stefan wasn't as involved as we thought. Until we're sure he's an active participant, we're suspending the campaign. In June of that year, a judge dismissed the lawsuit. To the best of our knowledge, the campaign has not been restarted. Despite this Steph Curry fiasco, CryptoKitties managed to convince highly esteemed venture capital fund Andresen Horowitz to invest $12 million along with Union Square Ventures. Andresen Horowitz is based in Menlo Park and has an impressive track record of investing in early tech startups and high growth companies. For example, one of their first investments was in Skype in 2009, which ended up in a massive success after its sale to Microsoft two years later for $8.5 billion. In 2010, they invested $10 million into Okta, the identity and access management company that has now become a meme stock. They also invested heavily in Facebook, Twitter, Airbnb, and Stripe before they went public, all of which have obviously been huge successes. They also invest heavily in the cryptocurrency space. In 2013, they invested in Coinbase and raised $300 million in 2017 for a dedicated cryptocurrency fund. It was this fund that invested in CryptoKitties. When CryptoKitties were first released in 2017, they immediately took off. The average price of a CryptoKitty, shown here in green, shot up above $60 in late 2017 and again to more than $100 in early March of 2018. The average volume, in blue, also spiked right out the gate causing a peak total dollar amount of more than $2 million per trading day. Over the course of just a couple days, people had spent more than a million dollars on CryptoKitties, according to TechCrunch. By the following fall, it had become a sensation, with one person paying $140,000 for one CryptoKitty, which is more than three times the all-time high price of Bitcoin. But then CryptoKitties kind of dropped off the face of the earth, with average volume plunging throughout 2019 and the early part of 2020. But they remained in the background, slowly gaining recognition and followers. In 2020, average price and average volume of CryptoKitties being traded spiked, as well as total amount in dollars being traded each day. By the end of the year, and the first part of 2021, there were regularly CryptoKitties selling for upwards of $100 apiece, with many days seeing thousands of CryptoKitties changing hands each day. At the peak of the altcoin craze in 2017, many media outlets and market commentators pointed to the rise of CryptoKitties as a sign that things have gotten out of control with crypto valuations. They thought it was crazy that people could pay up to $100,000 for a virtual cat. And they were partially right, as CryptoKitties' average price tanked significantly from its peak of $62 in late 2017. But if you had held on to your CryptoKitties since then, you actually could have made a lot of money. CryptoKitties prices surged in 2020 along with Bitcoin and the average price reached a peak of $624 in August, more than 10 times the 2017 peak. But prices are extremely volatile, even more so than Bitcoin, and the average price is now back down to $60. While CryptoKitties are a cool and innovative application of blockchain technology, they are purely speculative and have no practical use. Unlike mainstream cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and even Dogecoin, CryptoKitties cannot be used in day-to-day -day transactions. So if you decide to put any money into CryptoKitties, keep in mind that it's purely speculative and you're likely to lose everything you put in. But it might still be fun to spend 5 bucks on a couple cats and see what you can breed. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you have any thoughts on CryptoKitties or any other crypto-related topics, let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.